Hi everybody, Doug Daniel from the Pilots Online Academy, making superior piloting simple. Welcome to Module 4 of Phase 1, Thrust and P-Factor, from Aerodynamics to Flight Dynamics. Here's what to expect. You learn how propellers produce thrust so you can understand P-Factor. You learn how high power and high angle of attack produce P-Factor so you will know how to keep the airplane flying straight during takeoff and climb. The easy way is to think of a propeller as a wing flying in a circle. If there is no wind at the airport and the airplane is standing still, the only wind the propeller sees is self-made. The simplest propeller, the kind you will see on the first airplane you fly, is a single piece of aluminum. A propeller is designed to produce lift when it spins, so it is built with an angle of attack even when the plane is sitting still. Since lift is perpendicular to the relative wind, the spinning propeller produces lift parallel to the axis of rotation. We call this lift produced by the propeller thrust. In the situation just described, all of the propeller blades see the same wind speed and have the same angle of attack. So each blade produces exactly the same thrust. An airplane with its tail low and wheels on the runway does not fly directly into the relative wind. So the blade moving down has a higher angle of attack generating more thrust. Most propellers turn clockwise, putting the descending blade on the right, so the propeller's center of thrust is to the right of the center of the propeller. This off-center thrust is called P-factor, for propeller factor. Since P-factor is normally offset to the right, it tends to turn the airplane to the left. The greater the airplane's angle of attack, and the greater the power, the greater the p-factor. p-factor is at a maximum during takeoff and climb. Piloting hints. Assume you are in a typical single-engine tricycle landing gear general aviation airplane. You will experience some p-factor during initial takeoff roll because these planes tend to sit in a slightly tail-low attitude. When you lift the nose wheel off, called rotate, you lose nose wheel steering and p-factor increases. A loss of nose wheel steering and an increase in p-factor force you to increase your pressure on the right rudder pedal. I know this sounds counterintuitive advice, but believe me, don't think about it always just fly the airplane. In this case, that means use your rudder pedals to keep the airplane in the center of the runway, no matter which pedal you must push on. You have learned how propellers develop thrust, how propellers that do not fly directly into the wind produce p-factor, the effects of p-factor, when p-factor is at a maximum, and how to compensate for p-factor. In the next video, you will learn about the fourth of the four fundamental aerodynamic forces, weight. That weight of an airplane is not always caused by gravity, and the relationship between true airspeed and rate of turn. Thank you very much, and talk again soon.